Yes. The Breakfast Club, bitches. Who's donkey of the day today? Donkey of the day for Monday, September 28th goes to Stevens Millen Castro of Palmdale, California. And one of the key words in this story is palm. Oh, yes, there was a palm used in this story. Stevens Millen Castro decided to celebrate Palm Sunday a lot earlier than March this year. Nasty bastard. See, Stevens is one of those men who doesn't handle rejection well. The kind of guy that can't just holler at a young lady and get told no. The kind of guy who can't be told by a young lady, I got a boyfriend or I'm married or I'm simply not interested right now. I will never understand for the life of me why men can't handle that. If you try to holler at a woman and she simply says no, that's enough. Move on, young man. Nothing left to see here, okay? She doesn't have to give you a reason. But men and our fragile egos, Lord have mercy, the sense of entitlement and privilege that some of us feel because of our fragile ass egos is nuts. If you are indeed still out here in these streets and you're looking for a mate, you have to remember that rejection is an unavoidable part of the dating game. Rejection happens to everyone, but sadly, the danger of rejection is real. I really do feel sorry for my homegirls. I feel sorry for my sisters. I feel sorry for my daughters when they have to deal with men, okay? All right, my daughters in the future, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm terrified. And this is why I'm sewing the brothers going to therapy. This is why I'm sewing the brothers doing the work to become healed, hold individuals because I don't want the women around me to have to deal with the Stephen Millen Castro's of the world, okay? See, Stevens, I don't want to forget the S, the Stevens tried to holler at a coworker and she rejected his advances. Not only did she reject his advances, she filed an HR complaint against him. I have to salute this woman for using her given divine feminine intuition. I know some of y'all saying, damn, all he did was try to holler at a coworker and she went to HR. One, we don't know what he said to her or how aggressive he was being. Two, after hearing what he did, after he was rejected by her, clearly she made the right call. Let's go to CBS LA for the news report, please. This Palmdale man could face more than two years in prison and also have to register as a sex offender for life after he was convicted of putting his semen in a female colleague's jar of honey, water bottle, and on her computer and mouse. The attorney for Stevens, Millen Castro, says he acted out of revenge because the co-worker filed an HR complaint against him after she rejected his advances. The court ruled he did it for sexual purposes, thus requiring him to register as a sex offender. The OC registered reports he also faces up to two and a half years in prison when he is sentenced October 6th. Stephen Millen Castro got rejected by a young lady so he decided to go to the Palm Prom in Palmdale. Oh he decided to visit Rosie Palm and her five friends. He decided to do a little Kodak Jack and put semen in a female colleague's jar of honey in her water, bo her water bottles and all over her computer mouse. <laughs> Boy Stevens need his ass beat. I remember I read an article once about men and how they handle rejection. And the article said how you handle rejection depends on what you believe about yourself or what you tell yourself the rejection means. If that is true, Stevens, what the hell do you think about yourself? What did you tell yourself that rejection meant? I'm just trying to figure out how you go from getting told no to tugging the slug and tossing organic geek yogurt all over this young lady's stuff. Now, what's even more distor disturbing about this case is his attorneys are saying he shouldn't have to register as a sex offender because he acted out of revenge and not sexual gratification? As if that's better? Play that part of the news report real quick. The attorney for Stevens, Millen Castro, says he acted out of revenge because the co-worker filed an HR complaint against him after she rejected his advances. Hey, listen, Stevens' attorneys, two things can be true. Clearly, he acted out of revenge, but also clearly he got some sexual gratification out of this because I guarantee as he was shaking hands with Dr. Winky, he was thinking about this young woman. When he ejaculated, he took this young jizzle from the bottom of his lap. Happy born day to young Jeezy, by the way, and put it on her belongings. OK, you put it in her honey and water. That's very specific because you knew she had to put those things in her mouth. So in your sick brain, I know that's what you wanted. You wanted that nectar in her mouth. So Stevens, knock it off. You got gratitude from this. So hell yes, you have to register as a sex offender. Stevens, let me tell you something. Rejection is God's protection. Often we hear that saying and we think to ourselves, damn, I, I didn't get that. So God must be protecting me from something. Well, in a lot of cases, and this is one of them, that lady uh, had the wherewithal, Stevens, to reject 
your ass. And I mean ass literally, not just in the Philly way. She rejected your ass and it protected her from dealing with a psychopath. So yes, rejection is definitely God's protection. I want Kathy Griffin and Chelsea Handler to give Stevens the biggest hee-haw, but I'm not sure what race he is, not to mention there is already enough mayonnaise in this story. Uh, so please let Remy Ma give Stevens, Mill, and Castro the biggest hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw, you stupid mother are you dumb? Disgusting. Ugh. Mm. All yeah, right. Disgusting. Well, thank you for that donkey today, sir. Mm-hmm. Now, when we come back, 800-585-1051, we're asking, what's the craziest thing that happened after you've been rejected or after you rejected somebody? All right. 800-585-1051. What's the craziest thing you've done after you've been rejected or that somebody's done to you after you rejected them? Call us up right now. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.